Do you want to learn more about the real Belize and listen to locals and expat stories that are actually living here in Belize? Well, you're in the right place right now. You're listening to Belize Talk Radio, and I'm your host, Macarena Rose. Happy beautiful day to you. I am Macarena Rose with Belize Talk Radio, and today we have the privilege of being on San Pedro, which is part of, it's the town of the island of Ambergris Cay. And many people want to come to Belize and go diving and snorkeling, which I'm a snorkeling woman. I love to snorkel. And the one place that I always go to is Chuck and Robbie. So I thought it'd be awesome to bring you today to meet Robbie, who's a dear friend for many, many years. And we've sent many clients to that are very, very happy with you. Thank you for that, because that means everything in the world. <laughs> um, but there's some like new things that he has that I want to share with you. For example, the paddle boarding. That's big. Tell us about that. Um, the paddle boarding is actually very basic. We uh, stand up and go paddle boarding. We go out to the reef. Um, hopefully soon we might have some ideas of going back into the mangroves and going to do some birding on the stand-up paddle boards, uh, checking out the mangroves, the flora and the fauna that the island has to offer as well. How hard um, is it? It's actually very easy once you get the hang of it. On a day like today where it's a bit windy, it's a bit harder. It's kind of being like on a treadmill, you're kind of stationary. But <laughs> oh, I'd be there paddling forever. It's, 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 it's a, good way to, a good way to get some good exercise in as well. Can you paddle board at the whole chin? No, okay. it's, it's a bit far. I'm pretty sure you could, but it's a, it's a bit ways away. And uh, pretty much staying, uh, going on the paddle boards is just uh, consistently standing up and paddling. You don't get off and snorkel. You're, you're consistently moving with the paddle. Got board. it. Yeah. Well, on a windy day like this, it could be really in your in your advantage to be blowing you. <laughs> is it difficult to move in the water with the paddle? Uh, once you get the hang of it, no. Okay. Learning it, you usually want to start on your knees. Um, there is actually the owner who maybe we can get out here in a few minutes and you can talk to him about the, the paddle board okay. and he can give you some more pointers on that. Oh good, you know, I don't so. want to be falling down on it. Oh of course not. <laughs> um, although where are you falling? You're falling into the ocean, I mean you know, the sea here it's obviously. not that bad, it's pretty comfortable. Uh, yeah, the sea's gorgeous here. It, I know you can see the sea behind us, but to get in the sea and to see what Belize has in the ocean, I mean it's, it's fabulous. Yes. I know, it's not an ocean, it's a sea. <laughs> You were like, but it's the Caribbean Sea. I'm like, I know, I know. It does come from an ocean. It does. So, you know, it's, yeah, but it is um, being politically correct, right? So, how do people find you? I know how to find you. You know, I just email you or call you, but how do people um, find you? Because you're out there. A lot of it's word to, ma word to mouth. A lot of people also um, uh, via TripAdvisor. Majority is word to mouth. It's just friends coming and passing yeah. it on to friends, and friends passing it on to <laughs> friends and sending us business, right? right. Um, but, uh, you know, location is itself, we're just outside of downtown San Pedro. We're just north of Wet Willys in the Boca del Rio area, which is nice because it's quiet. You're not in the hustle bustle in the thick of, of the heart of San Pedro. And the, the beaches are usually a lot nicer when the sargasm grass isn't blossoming or blooming as it is. Blooming, for yes. sure. And they're cleaning that up, so that's yeah. good, too. So the thing is, is that um, if I'm, like, new to the island and I don't know how to get a hold of you, they can email you, I mean, yeah. right? And they have your website. You share your website. HamburgersKeyDiving.com. Okay. And you have Facebook. Yes. Our Facebook is uh, Chuck and Robbie Scuba Diving and Instruction. Get a hold of us on that. We had talked to Big Sexy earlier, and he was saying that people could actually come here for, like, a week, three to five days, and get certified. I yeah. never knew that. It takes pretty much up to uh, a minimum of three days to get certified. You can space it out depending on the time constraints you have or if you want to relax and do it more casually at a leisurely pace. It takes about four to five days. But you literally days. could do it. I yeah. did not know that. I've known people that have gotten certified and they do it over different progressions yeah. of time. But that is like a great thing. If you're going to be living in Belize, you definitely want to get certified exactly. if you like diving. Because, you know, Big Sexy said it's like swimming in an aquarium. Um, and I have been snorkeling, because I'm a snorkeler, of course, all over the world. And this bar none is breathtaking all the time. Even on rough days, I have seen amazing things. So when are you going to try diving? I'm not really sure. I've always had this thing that I want to be on top of the water. Well, we have a Discubus Curve experience that takes a half a day. You know what, maybe we'll take you all along on that because I I possibly could be tempted. It takes a half And if a I'm day. in good hands with them, I would know that I'd be okay. There you go. 20 minute video, a couple of skills, and you go do a dive a whole channel. No deeper than 30 feet. Wow. Oh boy. 
Well, guys, I, I might need to go now because I might need to talk more about this one. <laughs> so if you want to go diving, if you want to go snorkeling, you want to do the paddle boarding, I would definitely reach out to Chuck and Robbie. And we've met Robbie today, so I mean, yeah. <laughs> and he is as lovely as he seems for sure. I can account for that. And uh, reach out to him and contact him because you don't want to come to San Pedro and Ambergris Cay and certainly ever miss that opportunity. And they will come to you if you're staying at a resort, yep. which is lovely because you can just walk out the dock of where you are and they'll come pick you up. And my clients love that. They love that. They just they feel like so special and royalty that they just walk out the dock and there comes the boat because they always show up. It's a great concept. People that do what they say they do. I wish you a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and listening to Belize Talk Radio. I'm your host, as always, here with Robbie. I'm Macarena Rose. Till next time.